what's going on you guys back with another video in this video i want to talk about how narcissists create drama to control you and when they can't control you they control a narrative so they create this false narrative that kind of paints you as a bad person or as someone that everyone should be aware of you know people should stay clear of you there's something wrong with you and I can't quite put my hand on it. So I'm just warning y'all, you know, if you approach her, I'm just telling you to be careful because she's been a little strange lately. They create false narratives like that. They do this because when you're too quiet for the narcissist, they can't feed off that. So if they're not getting any supply from you because you're so quiet, and, you know, kind of to yourself and you just don't give them what they expect. The narcissists have to shake things up a little. And by them doing that, that's like forcing a reaction out of you. That's like forcing an interaction out of you. But what they don't realize is that a person who is... You know, they standing in the truth of who they are. Like, this is who I am. Nothing is going to change that. You can try whatever you want to get a reaction out of me. It's not going to happen. What the narcissist fella realize is how strong of a person you are to where none of that stuff bothers you. So it's not going to move you, you know, to give in. And give them some type of response. You're not going to do it. You know, you develop this mindset of it is what it is. You know, okay, so they speaking badly about me to other people. Okay, well, it is what it is. Let them talk. I don't care. And see, they hate that. They hate your strength. They hate to know that nothing bothers you. They hate to know that. It's like if they lose just a little bit of control of you, they know that the chances of you having a, you know, like a change of heart towards them is little to nothing. They hate the gray rock method because it gives them just enough to acknowledge that they are, you know, they exist. You know, when you give the narcissist the gray rock method, it's like they speak to you. They can't wait to see you so that they could start up a conversation out of almost nothing. And it's like when you give them that old dry response, like, you know, good morning. And they're waiting to, you know, when normally when a person starts a conversation, they speak to you, you speak back, and they say something else. But it's the way you respond to their greeting. They speak to you first, good morning. And you're like, good morning. They notice in your tone that you're really not up for conversation. So it's like, oh, Lord, not this again. They get angry. And they go off and they create these lies to other people and cause drama, you know, and, and have a lot of gossip, you know, about you and stuff because they can't control you. They can't control your response to them. They feel like they deserve more than just a dry, hello, you know. At work today, we have to do these mandatory COVID testing, but I think that's coming to an end this year. Um... And so when the uh, medical crew comes to the school to take our, do our COVID test, to do the swab, um, she comes out. Now, she had stopped taking the test because she was saying, well, they stopped paying me because they had started to pay you to take it. So she was like, well, they stopped paying me, so I stopped taking it. And the lady was like, well, we're a different company from the one who uh, was doing y'all tests before. And see, she 
mess herself up because you're going to get back all that back money. If you all in it for money, you messed yourself up because you stopped because you feel entitled to it instead of just wanting to be healthy in the workplace and in your everyday life, period. But anyway, we're standing in the line, just a few of us, um, to take the test. And they have to ask you your date of birth. Once they put the date of birth in, you know, nine times out of ten, you're the only one with that date of birth. They're gonna Your name going to pop up. They're going to tell you to verify your name. Or they're just going to say your name. And you're like, yeah, that's me. So they're like, date of birth. And she she was like, why do you ask me that every time I Every time I come here, every time you come here, why do you ask me that? And the lady was like, because I have to have, I got to make sure that you're the right person. And she said, but you should know that by now. I want, y'all, I wanted to say something so bad. Like, why are you questioning them? This is their job. It's their job to verify your identity. And one of the ways of doing it is to ask you your birthday. When the birthday come up, they'll ask you your name. It's simple as that. Why are you making it difficult for them? You are not special. You're not doing them a favor. They're doing you a favor because you're not only getting tested so that you can know your results. And, you know, do what you need to do to stay healthy. But you're also getting compensated for it. Like, you're going to get paid for this. And you're the one that, that stressed about it so much. So why are you giving them a hard time for doing their job? They're not there to be friendly with you. They don't come there for that. They're doing their job. You know, they travel from school to school each and every day of the week to do these COVID tests. So you're not special. They come across so many people. What makes you think they're going to remember you? On top of that, it's not the same testers every week. Sometimes it's a new crew of people. But nobody shouldn't even have to explain that. Narcissists just have that type of mindset to where they feel so special. They should be treated special. She has to be the first in line. Do you ever have anything to clean up? And they always are so sneaky and got more than one phone. Or you catch them and hiding out in places or peeking around a corner. Or just popping up in random places. Or it's like they kind of know where you're going to be. And then they suddenly just pop up out of nowhere. And pretend like, oh, I didn't know you were going to be here. No, you knew I was going to be there because you watch my every move and you uh, caught on to my routine. That's how you know I'm going to be there. They know that you're ducking and dodging them and you don't want to be bothered. They hate rejection. It makes them angry when you don't give them attention. And that's when they create drama. They go off and discuss you with other people so that other people can have this image of you. This false image of you. Because they're not going to confront you because the narcissists have warned them, don't confront her. You know, like, don't approach the wild animal. You may get attacked. It's like that's the type of the crap that they, they feed to people. And some people fall for it. And some don't. You know, and it's just like, because I'm not being this person who she wanted me to be so bad. She presented me to be, oh, this happy, friendly person. We're one big family here. We're like this and we're going to be like that. No, we're not going to be like nothing. Because this is my job and I don't care for doing all that. You coming to the Christmas party? No. Why? Because I don't want to. I was just asking why. I don't want to. I don't have time for all that. When I leave work, I got another job to go on. When we're out for the holidays, I just want to enjoy my little time off. And she mumbled something under her breath. She was mad because of my response. You know? So narcissists, they create drama. And chaos and confusion when they can't control you. So keep giving them that same dry response and hopefully they will continue to flee.